Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here, with part 44 of Dark Souls 3. Hope you guys are all doing well. Nailed it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I did find out, looked into it, uh, you can only get one broadsword per playthrough. So, there's no other way to get the weapon. Which, yeah, comparable, comparable, whatever, however you pronounce it, to the Dark Sword, which it's a little bit less damage but has a little bit better range. So, kinda, yeah, you know, comparable. Plus, uh, if you want to block with your weapon, like, Dark Sword is better for that. Uh, however, the weapon skill, I prefer stance to the stomp. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, We're currently at 40 intelligence and faith. I forgot I got it to 40. Um, so we now have the requirements to go do a thing. Also, I needed uh, ah, some Twinkling me. Titanite, I believe, right? To get the Isolith Staff to plus four, yeah. Um, I need four of them. Pretty be careful. Which, that would be kind of expensive. Ah. Because we got one. Um, hold on. Oh, and it... Yeah, we got three from a uh, gray rat, but I would still need another one, and they're twelve thousand each, so they'd be thirty-six thousand souls. Goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, kind of expensive. Um. But yeah, I wanted to, because we're kind of in between areas right now. Um, like I said, we now can go to a new area, which is via Irithyll Dungeon. Um, and because we needed the gesture you get from the Untended Graves. Well, it's actually before that, it's right after, um... Uh, Osiris, the Consumed King. Uh, where you saw that guy, like, well, the corpse of the dude, like, sitting, uh, kind of cross-legged with his hands in his lap. It's called the Path of the Dragon. Uh, so I'll actually, I'll just, I'll just show you guys, um... How to get there first because we may as well i think they throw i think they throw you a bonfire pretty much as soon as you get there i could be wrong actually yeah i could be wrong on that not really sure um so let's go to the other place first uh the drag heap which this is the first area of the ring city dlc and as it is right now, I don't really need to hold on to my souls, because I only have 5,000. And we got one of these pilgrims here, but oddly enough, like, sitting on a chair, kind of reminiscent of... Uh, the um, the finger reader crowns in Elden Ring. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last, but here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-armed hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. 
I just like to stand here and take in the view. Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone humped hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> I've none of that, not a smithereen. She's kind of lying, or just being modest. She has a few items. Um, plus rusty coins. She's got some rusty gold coins. She's got a split leaf great sword. That's the name of it. I don't know why this thing is even called a great sword. It's not. Um, but it's definitely worth the eleven thousand souls. Um, At the close of the age of fire, all lands meet. At the end of the earth, great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. A great tide of human enterprise, all for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. At the close, great. Keep your marvels in. Yeah. 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 Um, message, take the plunge. Yeah, so there's certain areas. Um, <laughs> this odd ghost just like points down. Uh, there's certain areas in the DLC where you can just jump, even when it seems like you wouldn't be able to survive the fall. Um, so that's kind of what they're they're hinting at here. And yeah, you get that little like plume. Um, yeah, and I don't really want to do all of this right now. Um, gonna run one ring over here I believe yep Shit. no here we go all right stage one and done um, let's see there's there's a way through here. I believe it's over here. These guys thankfully get staggered just by rolling. That's one.
to... That's all I really came here for. Um, there's one other item. They wanted to grab here, and I don't remember where it is, to be honest. Let's see how many souls we got. 500, okay. Um,. I know it's somewhere around here, and there's a guy that's like willing to help out. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really want to dive deep into this area yet. Hmm. He shows back up here. Kinda... ish I think that's where it is. Um... I can't go up there. I'm trying to remember... What the deal is with this place. guys are a little different. Might be over here? Again, I don't quite remember. come back here at a later time um, when it's actually time to do this DLC um, however what I wanted to pick up I just grabbed and that would be great soul dregs so this is without any exaggeration uh, <laughs> easily uh, the best uh, spell in the game like as far as sorceries go, really, really good. Um, it's again, like it's a DLC spell, but it puts everything else to shame. Like everything else, Soul Stream, Crystal Soul Spear. Um, like as far as sorceries go, yeah, it's the best sorcery, um, and it can be buffed with. Um, either the spell, the spell, the uh, staff I just picked up, the murky longstaff, 
Each chance from the depths works with staff equipped left to right. Briefly boosts the strength of dark sorceries. Um, I think even without the weapon skill, it still increases dark sorceries a little bit. Kind of like the Azalith staff does. And the only difference is without the skill, um, Azalith staff is better. With the buff with the weapon skill active, um, Murky Longstaff is a little bit better. It just doesn't last very long. It's basically like Steady Chant. Um, there's also a piece of head equipment that it's called the... Um, something... the Dark Mask or something. It's... Um, it's basically the same as the Crown of Dusk, except I don't think it has the same uh, downside of having, like, negative on dark. It might? Not entirely sure. Um, it's also found around here. I don't remember where. So I might have to look that up. Um, it's somewhere here in the drag heap, though. Uh, it's not entirely necessary right now. Um, the upside to the Murky Longstaff is, I believe, it is enhanced with regular Titanite. Um, whereas the Azalith Staff is, you know, Twinkling Titanite. Which I did find two of them, so like if I did spend like 36,000 to get the other... Or I guess I would need two more, I think. Um, yeah, I think I need two more at this point. Yeah, because I need eight to get that uh, up another level. Um, so either way, they're 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 both good staves, honestly. Um, So I was considering uh, considering going back. Yeah, I might just look it up in between episodes. Um, but yeah, let's go back to Firelink real quick. Because I'm not even sure how I'm doing, like, Titanite-wise. Yeah, I got four chunks. I think you need 12 chunks out of weapon. I just, like, don't have that yet. Um, also need regular Titanite, but that's not hard to get. Um... So yeah, only needing two Twinkling Titanite to get the Azalith staff up. Seems like a good kind of trade-off. But I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change it up right now anyway. Um For this next part, I think fire would be okay, but I think I'm going to go back to using uh, like lightning for a little bit. So let's go back to these, and the crystal chime. Yeah, that should do it. Um, also picked up a few souls, but... Not as concerned with that right now. We'll go Sunlight Spear. Lightning Stake. Yeah, yeah, Doris is gnawing. Just stick with that. 
Um, like I said, we need to go back to Irithyll Dungeon to access this new area, which is not DLC, by the way. It's just uh, hard to find if you don't know where to go. I believe going through here is the fastest way. If I recall correctly. At least I think this is it. through here. I think so. Might be going the wrong way. Not entirely sure it's been it's been a hot minute. This goes out to the rooftop. That's not right. Yeah, it went the wrong way. I think he goes straight through the area with the rats. There might be a faster way to get there. I don't remember. Yeah, because we get to a second lift. This like this feels right. Might be wrong. Cause whether I'm right. Oh, whether I'm wrong. Wait a minute. Oh shit, I just turned I got myself turned around. Whoops. Why did I have to call the elevator? It should have been down already. All right, whatever, whatever. Anyway, it's like straight through. I think, right? Yeah, because that's where I tried going before. That's where I came from. Is it not straight through? I thought there was another way... Because that's not it. I thought initially you go through there. There's like a fast way to get there, I, I just don't call exactly I thought that was it um it's not up through there Be this one. Who dareth? No, because that's the way the profane capital. Is it down? 
down and through. No, because there's no door on that side. On. I'll, I'll figure this out. Just give me a second. Is it over here? Ah, oh, motherfucker, no. Might be down there. Shit. I thought it was that lift. Maybe it's on the side. Yeah, because there's that door too. Is it this one? This kind of feels right. Yeah, because that's where you jump off. Okay. Yeah, this is it. I think the faster way is through over here, I want to say. I kind of want to check. Oh. Right, because if you go straight across. You go that way, that is the area with the rats. Just drop down. Yeah, 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 this way is comparatively fast. Um, starting from the profane capital would have been okay, too. Anyway, um, there's an empty spot. You may notice they're kind of, like, sitting on rugs, sort of. Like, that guy's sitting there, and that guy's curled up in this, like, dragon statue thing. It's, like, sitting here. Um, kind of similarly, some of these other guys have been, like, sitting here for, like, Ever, but they don't like crumble. See, I mean, this guy even bleeds. He's definitely not alive. Um, oh, I guess this guy bleeds too. Anyway, uh, yeah, they were just waiting for a long time, I guess. Like, far off in the distance. Wait a minute. I see a building and sometimes something else. Oh, we got stars. Huh. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Anyway, um, you want to use the path of the dragon, and then you just kind of have to wait. Um, but yeah, you gotta be sitting on the rug next to the dragon statue, like to the left of it. And yeah, it's it's pretty obscure. Um, like first couple times I played through this game, I didn't know anything about this. But then, um, you know, I, I kind of heard like via word of mouth and stuff people uh, talking about certain like all the bosses in the game, and uh, there's a very notable one. It's only accessed by doing this, so. And eventually, uh, via word of mouth on the internet and blah, 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 a lot of people, uh, became aware of the existence of, uh, this area. 
as obscure as it is to get here. Was that four? Hey, welcome. There we go. Ooh, or I can one shot him with sunlight spear. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of looking around. I don't quite remember. What, it, what you can grab in this area? Yeah, there's no bonfire yet. Lightning gem, I mean, that bodes well. For, you know, using the uh, lightning approach. Okay, you can't use that yet. Ow. Fuck. There's another guy waiting in the wings over here, if I remember right. Yeah, there he is. Ah, shit. Ooh. That's also a good amount of damage. Of course, the obvious downside is you have to get right up in their face. All up in the place. Because with the rhythm mace. Mmm. I feel like I missed something back here. No, guess not. But yeah, it's a very kind of muted area, like color palette wise. But uh, I really like it. Ember. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, lightning is working pretty well. Which would make sense, because these are kind of like dragon-ish enemies. It's kind of, you know, part of the lore, the mythos. Like when using the lightning to slay the dragons, you know. These guys are something different, though. You're actually an enemy, why can't I lock onto you? Two shots. I thought for sure you'd take more than that. Lots of Titanite chunks. Very cool. Assuming this opens the gate. Yep. Oh, I think this is where you get the lightning clutch ring. Oh, shit. Hello? So I mentioned that in a previous episode. Yep. But 
but yeah, just uh, just in the way this game is designed, very brilliant. And uh, there's many indicators for like, hey, you might be missing something. Like, just if you're paying attention to your inventory kind of stuff. Now this is where things might get a little rough. Considering I'm at twenty-eight thousand. Mm, might actually go back first. And I only had like 5,000 pretty recently. This guy's really worth that much. It's not bad, like 2,000. I mean, not quite 2,000, but, you know what I mean? There he is. Yeah, I mean, these guys are honestly a pretty good farm. Like 2,000 apiece and you can one-shot them, and that's a beautiful looking moon right there. Wait, now it's gone? Oh no, no, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Fire Link. Real quick. Also gonna check how many uh thing about bobs we're at. Okay, so Titanate Chunks we only have seven. It's not very many. Um Twinkling Titanite we're at six. So I might have to get a few more. Um, so I just need two. Oh, and in. Yeah, two twinkling titanites. There we go. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, just what me. Reinforce. list staff we get that to a plus four I'm not gonna use a slab on it though because I'd rather use the murky long staff since it does technically outperform it for dark sorceries and now that I have great soul drags that's what I'm gonna be using um, just need to get more Titanite shards and chunks. Is it two, four, and eight? Actually, the two, four, and six. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Um. Yeah, so we'll be back on that. I'm gonna stay. On the lightning for now. Ten thousand, okay. Dark Dragon Peak. Oh, we're pretty much out of time. Okay. Next part actually takes a while. Out of curiosity, I want to see. Yeah, I know. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's good enough. What the uh, drop rate for these guys is? Okay, so they drop chunks and large. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. And it's just like four dudes real quick. Like if this is indeed like a good way to get like chunks. Dodged it. I mean, that's not bad, honestly. Again, it's like almost, um, Almost like 10,000. Well, actually, I don't even have the uh, silver weapon ring on, so I also throw that on. Like... Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 3,600. Per dude, so what, like... Times four, so... 14,000 souls? And like, pretty good source of, um... Titanite? For large and chunks, and apparently lightning gems. I think, uh, yeah, the coin wore off. So yeah, I mean that's that's really not bad. Plus, like, you can one-shot them easily. Yeah, really not bad. It seems like chunks are like a rare drop on these guys. Um, so for chunks, not consistently. But um, I'm getting a good amount of large Titanite shards.
I'm gonna give it like two more cycles. See if I can get another chunk or two. Coin is still in effect. It's like sunlight spear just comes out quick. I haven't seen that move. Ah, fuck. And he was the only one that dropped anything in that one. It's weird. Strange. I don't remember what ashes you need in order to, um... Just, like, be able to buy Titanite Chunks. But I'm pretty sure once you can, if they're like 6,000 apiece. Oh, wow, you actually blocked. And dodged, wow. Yeah, so <clears throat> definitely not for chunks. Um, for just getting souls, though, like these guys are pretty worth it. You know, like almost four thousand per shot. Apparently, they can drop the weapon. There you go. Jump from that guy. Kind of curious on these guys up here. I think the bigger guy has a different... Uh, set of uh, items. easy it is to take full damage on <laughs> Still, at 150,000, like, already? It's, uh... Impressive style, Fox. Also, um, I love how you just, like, get cleaned up whenever you press a bonfire. Pretty fun. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today, because we're over on time, obviously. Um, just gonna switch my rings back to how they were. And armor, obviously. It's my 10 Titanite chunks. It's really not bad. Um, I have to get regular Titanite, so if I remember correctly, I think Anor Lundo is a great way to do that. I 
know if Sunlight Spear is going to be like as good on these guys, but I think it'll do pretty good work. Yeah, I just want to just want to check one more thing before we go. Yeah, 571. A uh, proof of conqueror cap, just like that. want to see damage difference um to the Isla staff plus four change these out for the source reboosting stuff and I think that's it currently a 307 that's not bad um Great soul drags, obviously. And steady chance. Oh yeah, that can one shot him. Over a thousand. Yeah. Thousand seventy five. Is a lot of damage. And comparatively to something like Chaos Bed Vestiges, which I think for a single hit damage is the best when it comes to Pyromancy. Of course, switch out the rings for the Pyromancy rings. So just like pop a coin real quick. Yeah, it does not one shot. I mean, 681, still good. Um, not as powerful though. off for, I don't know, something else that would benefit from this, like Affinity and then Dark Edge. And the coin wore off, so I'll just pop one of those again. Steady Chance, cast Affinity. That's almost 600. No, he blocked that, but... 853? It's like, that's damn good. Hmm. Blocked that. The 
But yeah, 1,075, like, damn. It's like, yeah, affinity. Get the steady chance. Why affinity? Because it's also a dark sorcery. So that was 800 that time? So I guess apparently he blocked a little bit of it last time. Yeah, so that was 976 without steady champ. That was 900? Like another thousand plus from Great Soul Drags, so. Yeah, again, that was like 900. So pretty much between the two of those, like a thousand. At range. Just kind of nuts. And we'll go ahead and travel uh, back to Firelink because we should have plenty enough to like just get the Murky Longstaff to a plus nine. I'm not going to get it to a plus ten right now because you know Titanite slabs are few and far between. Um, I think we can actually buy one because uh -huh. I didn't actually buy the one that is for sale for thirty thousand because it was thirty thousand. Um, I mean, I'll take it, though. We have 14 Titanite Shards, so I don't need that. Um, then, yeah, Murky Longstaff, which is already at a plus one, but I'm going to get that to a plus nine. Okay, it's two, four, and six. Okay. So I actually need two more chunks. Pretty be careful. Yeah, already it's at 180 compared to 194 on the Isolith staff. So according to the numbers, not as much. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some of these souls real quick. Get four levels. Yeah, I would like more HP. More FP would be nice too. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Two and two. Yeah. Mm hmm. Forgot the symbol of Avers was still like actively sucking my HP down. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Anerlundo so we have, like, a fair comparison damage-wise. I know this is, like, going on a little long, almost hitting an hour, but just kind of wanted to explain why this is so cool. Alright, so we got the Murky Longstaff, which is a little hook at the end. It looks like it could even be, like, a weapon, you know? Um, so yeah, still have the same... Equipment. Uh, just gonna do coin real quick. Back up real quick so it doesn't aggro before I'm ready. Alright. Then the buff, then affinity. Great soul drags. So, like less than 2,000 this time, but 1069. So even at a plus eight, but the Azalith staff was what, 1075 pretty consistently? And that's at a plus four, like it doesn't have its final upgrade, but it's still about the same. Yeah, 1069. Yep, 
1069. Then compare that to the Isolith staff. Which, if you're going by the numbers, yeah, spell buff of 194 should be better than spell buff of 180. And yeah, the Crystal Chime technically has a higher spell buff than that. But I'm going to show that as well here in a second. So I'll just do Steady Chant, which is not going to give us as much of a buff. That's 1074. Ten seventy-five, right? Okay, Crystal Chime, which is maxed out, by the way. It technically has a higher spell buff at two sixteen. But the downside is it has Gentle Prayer, which does not increase the power of anything. So it's 827, that might have been a block. 28, I don't think that's a block though. No. So yeah, it's less damage by a pretty significant amount. 200. So yeah, Mercury Longstaff, technically better. Um, if they're maxed out, that'd be a more fair comparison, I suppose. Um, but, <laughs> that's funny. Um, to be perfectly fair, actually go into the other the other character that has both of those weapons fully maxed out go into load game and hilarious and hilarious also has like all the applicable buffing items so including the um the thing i was i'm gonna look up in between episodes where to find it which is the blindfold mask. So increase damage sustained from dark. Oh, it is the same as the murky, uh, not murky, crown of dusk. So you take more dark damage, but um, greatly increase, wait, strengthens dark attacks, right? So, uh, so I'll just take that off real quick. So I got the Elizabeth staff plus five which with 80 intelligence and faith is 279. I also got the murky long staff plus 10, which is 247. So a lot less spell buff, but here. And then of course the sage's ring, the better version. Can't get that until new game plus, I think. Also the young dragon ring and bellowing dragon, same, same exact rings. Travel to Anorlando. And just to be super thorough, I'm gonna show nothing else is really equipped. We've got the Chaos Broadsword, same weapon, Cathedral and Wing Knight stuff, nothing boosting there. And got affinity and great soul dregs. Okay, so this is with the Isolith staff, right? So same thing. Gonna apply steady champ, and then cast great soul dregs. So it's 1190. This is on new game plus like five. So. Yeah. 
Okay, so 1190 pretty consistently. And then the murky longstaff. Which again, has like way lower spell buff at 247. His list staff is at 279. So it is a list staff with Steady Chant did 1190. Now using Murky Longstaff unique skill. It's 1142. 1143. About the same. 43. So actually, yeah, Isla's staff is a little bit more. However, we don't have the mask equipped. So the blindfold mask also specifically increases dark. So we'll go ahead and do the thing. Now it's at 1255. Twelve fifty-five again, so that is more. But let's see what the Ozilith staff. Thirteen oh six. Okay, so the Ozilith staff actually is better. All right. Well, it was worth checking. However, that might just be because I'm at 80 for both intelligence and uh, faith. Literally twice as much as my other character. Um, so, not necessarily a good metric to go off of. It might be a little bit different. But still, I think without, oh yeah, without the thing, without the buff. Oh, I did that first, even without the buff. There's still the Uzalith staff, right? Let's try with, I didn't try that, with the mask without Steady Chant or the other one. Because going to get the mask, like, should be pretty easy, honestly. Okay, so Isla Staff, Blindfold Mask, both the rings, without Steady Chant. Eleven seventy one. Mm -hmm. Pretty consistently, both both times there. Yep, eleven seventy one. Three times in a row. And Murky Longstaff. Same thing, no buff. Ten twelve, really? Ten thirteen. Okay. So without the buff, yeah, Isla's staff is way better. So yeah, in both in both situations. But yeah, I pretty frequently use this spot specifically for either farming Titanite or just 
kind of damage testing. It's a pretty consistent spot, and they very, very commonly just do the same attack patterns pretty much every time. So it's pretty useful. But um, yeah, that is going to do it for today. Uh, thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciated. And of course, before we get going, I think I am just going to use that Titanite slab on the Azula staff since it is better. I thought almost for sure, like the other one would be. I seem to remember it being better, like with all the buffs and everything, but even with all the buffs, no, his these list staff is just better. Kind of surprising. They would add a staff in the DLC that is supposedly just for specifically like dark stuff, then not make it like any better than the thing that was already doing that in the base game. Kind of strange, right? Ah, just what neat. Let's go ahead and reinforce the Isla staff to a plus five with the Titanite slab. There we go. Oh, they be careful like that. All right. Plus, as far as like FP consumption goes, um, it's just kind of better. Because, like, it only requires 30 FP, whereas, like, Sunlight Spear is, like, 48. Uh, Doris is gnawing, of course, is better at 20. But, like, comparatively to, like, Soul Stream is 55, Crystal Soul Spear is 46, um, Chaos Bed Vestiges is 35. So, considering how powerful it is, it's kind of just better. So, um, I want to change the order here. So I want Affinity and then Great Soul Dregs and then Dark Edge. I don't know if it's going to be, oh, as good. Right, on the Dragon guys. Um, Back to Hevel's Ring. Why is it? Oh, because it's heavier, right? I knew that. Um, just go with something slightly lighter, like all those gauntlets. All the night gauntlets, which are better. A couple ways. Yeah, let's just go with that. Um, still have enough for for level up. I'm gonna take care of that. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and add probably a point in intelligence. I want to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Arch Dragon Peak. I just want to see if it's similar to Sunlight Spear. I think the cast time is a little bit longer. But considering how good it is... Yeah, it's a little bit longer. 906? But like, the hitbox is a lot bigger. So let's compare that to Crystal Chime, Horn's Ring, Firstborn, back here, 
tune. Just gonna change this out for sunlight spear. It's actually about the same. For like the cast time. Oh, now I can cast it three times. That's nice. It's it's a little bit more damage, but it's also like a lot more FP. So, eh, tomato, tomato. I'm not sure what the max range is on Sunlight Spear. That might be better. Great Soul Dregs actually has really good range as well. Um, but again, that's without the Blindfold Mask which I am definitely going to figure out where that is in between episodes. Sorry this one went on for so long, guys. I did not intend on that. But, um... I'll just keep it like this. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. And, um... We'll figure out where that is in between episodes. Uh... And before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome, support the show a bit more directly, and get in on those membership benefits like Novellus Draconis, check out the join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month. It's only ten cents. To ten, 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 ten cents a day gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel. So if you guys do want to get in on that, um, It'd be it helps out a lot and would be very much appreciated. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take care and I hope you all have a beautiful day.